In the dark and musty depths, we have found the finale to Alice Madness Returns. Seriously, and look at all the I dust in this on. video. <coughs> and then it just and then it just all pops in. It's like whoa. And then James is like, I'm out. <laughs> I just, I, honestly, I can just imagine that all this darkness, he just pops up a whole bunch of, like this colorful Wonderland straight out of Who like, Framed Roger Rabbit. We just had a white prize. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah. Also, the last flashback. Oh. Oh damn. So we're piecing all the all of it together. What, really? The cat yeah. never set the fire. Mm -mm. <gasps> Someone set the fire. Wait a minute. He looks familiar. I had a role in my family's demise, but I did not start the fire. <gasps> Centaurs don't live in Oxford, but a certain doctor. Wait a minute. <gasps> it's the doctor! Someone get David Tennant! <laughs> Why <laughs> the doctor? <laughs> and the key that he's kept with him. Oh. That he's been using as a metronome. That is actually the key that he used to lock our sister in her room. Yes. Oh, no. You'll you'll see, you'll learn. But I'll say right now, there's already some clues that we've been hearing in some of the flashbacks. One of them, namely, about when her sister was mentioning how she didn't want to see the professor anymore because he kept appro he kept making advances towards her. Oh, oh. that's right. Towards Alice or the sister? The sister. The, the sister. sister. Okay. The sisters. The sister was like, ah, uh, like a good. I say, I want to say, three or five years older than Alice. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. But still, that's not that's okay to do. The, uh -uh. That is the lair of the beast. And there's the train. Oh, I thought we were talking my room for a second there, but uh -oh. that's just me. There's the train stops. <laughs> it's time to confront what has been damaging Wonderland since the beginning. Just a quick question. Has any of you guys yeah. rode a train before? No, uh, yeah, I, I feel like I have once. I think I have like either twice or three times if you count like the Polar Express ride in New York City. I count it. I count it. Then yeah, three times. I have rode the train a few times back when I was in Germany because it was like the fastest way to go through. I rode the train a couple times like, you know, I know there's like the train, the actual like train that goes around Disneyland. Oh yeah. Like around the, out the outer edge of it. Nice. I went on a uh, like a speed bullet train type of thing. Whoa! Oh, nice. Oh, I I don't know if it counts. I went on, I guess you know I guess it's considered a train. I went on something called the BART. It's the Bay Area Regional Transit. Oh. It's basically it's basically a uh, kind of a train thing that it, it, it's I want to I almost want to call it more of a very large monorail that goes uh, around you know San Francisco area and at one point even goes underwater to reach the San Francisco Bay. Nice. Yeah, I think you call that a monorail. Monorail, monorail, monorail. Mono. Is that the official? Mono. The official no. Song? Oh wait, listen. Oh god. Hmm? Yeah. Ooh. That was a dark quote. So what was it again? The sister was, the sister was retelling how she was made very uncomfortable by someone. Yes. Ah. We're piecing everything together and. Again, this totally retcons things from the first game. Oh, look, what there he is. is. That. There he is. In the all his inkly glory. Himself. They, uh, I believe his form in this world of ours is known as the Dollmaker. Yeah, the Dollmaker. Mm. Yep. Yeah. and selfish of fortune's fools. Oblivious, I live in a training ground of prostitutes. Mm. Who's that speaking? I can't see very well. <laughs> Sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. I sought relief from my pain and you turned me away from the truth. You are almost there, almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. Abandon the memory of my family. They are dead, and you should be too. You misbegotten abomination. Murderer, you blood sucking parasite. The damage you've done to children. The abuse. I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family. My mind. The infernal train. The train is your invention, your defense. I you said that almost sounds it almost sounded like an excuse. Yeah. yeah. It probably is. That's the, that's his whole He's great at, I think the phrase is lampshading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hush, my little ones, have no fear. That's what he did to that poor child. He just drops him down a hole. Oh, stop <laughs> train. If it's the last thing I do. As you eh, 
And we're next. All right. Uh, uh, I don't want to be a doll. So... Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, I remember oh, this part. Shit. Hmm. He literally turned us into a doll. It reminds me of that scene so... from Toy Story 2. I don't want to that, play so with you anymore. Real, that's, I, I now was we're just, in the real world. I was just saying, I was just quoting that pie. That's why I said, bye, Woody. Oh, no, so no, now we're, and, so now we're in, and so now we're in the real world realizing what's been happening. All the children that he had were these signs, these, this whole thing. The, and all, oh, and they also finished constructing that subway station, that they've been, the train station they've been working on since in the beginning of this game. But uh, oh. we need to confront this. This cannot, we cannot allow him. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. We cannot allow him to have this warped perception of our mind become the reality, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, we can't. We need so, we need to beat a quack. Pretty much. Uh, worse than a quack, as you'll we'll see. see. And speaking see. of the devil, here he is. Oozing sore of depravity. Children wearing their names around their necks as if they're breathing livestock. The declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> At least the actor's doing a good job. Oh, yeah. Wish he would share just as much of the facial features. <laughs> yeah. Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still, you're an insane wreck. My work is done. Uh, and this is some uncut audio. You're music. powerless against me. In any case, you're known for your failure to distinguish fantasy from reality. Your imagination will destroy you. It will save me. Ooh. Damn, woman, that is a nice transition. Mm-hmm. Why, nice Why would they cut such a nice clip? Why would they cut such a nice clip? I don't know. The, the cutscene was there. I just used I just used cut audio that I did like that exchange. I just that it was never used in the official game. Well, I just wonder now why they hear it first. Use it. As far mm -hmm. as I'm concerned, like... it might have just been a development short short sight or oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like a cut like a like a cut cut scene or interaction. Wait, oh. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First it was all searching, breaking, fear and fragmented memories. Now it's the train. Never time for tea. <laughs> Mark your brains on holiday. We are ruined. Now we're all mad here. That's a good excuse for going to hell in a teapot, but not for forgiving what your sense is so forgiving is just forgetting. I swear Roger does a good job as the mad adder. Mm -hmm. At some point I expect that nose to just push itself on the on the screen. And so now we have to take responsibility for this. Okay. Used and abused. But you will not destroy me. No. The damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened. And you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. Yeah, yeah right. the problem with it being a therapist is that they have these psychological, like... Mm. Not again. I again, this is to say, I just love how we're suddenly getting all these cutscenes one, one after the other. Yeah. It's a big finale. I mean, yeah. yeah. It just seems a little jarring to just keep just go back and forth like this. Damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harm pay a penalty. Your own case. He did this, and he he did this, and he sold off the children after he was finished. Oh God. So that was his whole thing. He would use his whole therapy to make people forget to such a point where they would forget everything about them, and then sell them. Ugh. That's fucked up. Mm. It is. That, and honestly, I feel like it just... It's just... I think we talked about it before, but it feels like a stupidly unnecessary retcon. In terms of what the first game handled, probably having a realistic villain. <gasps> Don't you dare insult my sister! <sighs> that was a low blow, dude. <sighs> There's the key. Yeah, and of, and of course he was doing the old thing of, oh, she pretended she didn't like me. Or... Yeah. This one's my favorite of all the cutscenes from the train. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, no. Poor Lizzie. And there are no sentences. 
hunters in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something happened to our sister that was far worse than death. Really? But now it is time for us to stop this. We have finally reached the engine car of the infernal train to stop it in its tracks. Mm -hmm. So I should ask, is this where we finally, finally get a fucking boss fight? Yes. Yay! Hallelujah. About time! <laughs> finally. Here we go. I was gonna say open yeah, sesame, but you so took care of that for me. I was wondering what took you so long. Seriously. I thought you just kinda left us up there. Hide in your and so, the doll maker. Let's beat the crap Let's out of him. So we just have to once again attack the porcelain bits, but we need it to uh we need it to reveal its uh energy. Oh jeez. Oh. There it goes. So it's after attack. Okay, so it's the old dodge and attack and then counter. Yay! As the uh, engine tries to handle his uh, doll strings moving about. Uh, an admirable effort. You know what? Maybe it's just the way, the way this battle arena is laid, laid out, but I'm suddenly reminded of the, um... I think it was, like, the second to last boss in Dark Moon, which was literally you against this giant, that giant suit of armor. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh. And you have to use the rugs to trip him. Hmm. Right. Yeah. I mean, I just again, I'm just reminded of that because the the layout of this arena is very much similar. No, oh, yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. You know, two two pillars, rectangular room. And we are technically fighting against a giant entity, so. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And also, honestly, the way this is thing, this is actually reminding me of that wall master fight in Link Between Worlds. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, god. that fight. It was fun. That one was fun. If not a tad, if not a tad aggravating at points. Mm. Alright, that hand's down. Time for the second hand. Hands down. <laughs> that one's missing a finger. His ring finger. His ring did, finger. Did, yeah. that, did that hand just try to moon us? Because I think it didn't... It, it, that, <laughs> it did the, it did the closest thing it could. Yeah. It did the closest thing it could it, it, too. It doesn't really work for a paw. I mean, I'm doing that right now, and it just feels weird. <laughs> it, 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 it's, yeah, it's, it's too creepy. flat of a butt. It's too flat. It's too it's too there's no crack in it. <laughs> it's so... Oh, jeez. Whoa. It's so yeah. odd. Like, it, its movements are kind of a little unsettling. Well, maybe it realized than... its thing. He's gone berserk. Oh, it's <laughs> oh my god, it is thing. Nah. Oh my gosh, look at go. If not that, it, if not that, it also is reminding me of, uh... Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Also, If not that, then some of these attacks also are reminding me of Master Hand. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, that does seem like the obvious comparison. What? Oh my god, that's crazy hand right there. Don't cross oh, the fine. line, Alice. You cross the line already. It's not already. fair. It's, it, it's not fair if you cross the line and then move it towards me. I, okay, I for some reason I half expected one of his attacks to just be flipping me off. Oh, oh and you know what? Considering the age rating of this game, it should have oh. totally Oh, I thought back. he did. No, it was just his index. Yeah, it was just his no. index finger. That's why I was like, what the? Uh. Do you think it's... I know it's been something that's been said on a lot of, like, Reddits or whatever. Do you think it's bad that Nintendo always has a big hand fight? I think it's fine. They always have uh, something new yeah. to mix it up with. I do, I do, think, uh, that, I do oh. think at this point it's pretty much become a trope, but I don't think it's one that, that that's usually been bad. It's just been done a lot. That's yeah. really about it. Yeah. What next? There you go. Coming in where I can whack you. More just hands! Away from Dang it! Okay, they have no porcelain Stop bits. Stop puppeteering though. with me. Just yeah, if EA didn't screw this, screw this company over so bad, like I would have loved oh. to have seen more Ooh. boss fights, kind of like this. Shake. Yeah. yeah. Which is which is why fortunately we do have that uh, prequel game, which they already confirmed they would have some boss battles in. Sweet. That's good. And it's uh, and it's all uh, it's all it's all funded through Patreon, so I'm hoping that means uh, ah, here it comes in close. Ew, that tongue. That's nasty. Wait, that's oh, his tongue. Gonna... Yeah, yeah, I just that's said I'm that. I'm gonna smack it. I also thought that was just—I thought that was just more ooze dripping out of his mouth. Oh, from his chin? No. Nope. <laughs> the, the demonic goatee. <laughs> the goatee. Demonic goatee. Colonel uh, something. I don't know. <laughs> it's the booty. The booty. No, <laughs> no, no oh, that's just right. no. Yeah, no. Oh. Fair enough. But, it's okay. Yeah, you tried. Okay. Yes. That's okay. You made maximum oh. effort. 
Fair Whoa. enough. Hi, what do you make of all this so far? Yeah. Actually, I should turn again. Be right back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Or is it with the dogs? But... I mean, it is nice, and uh, again, I can see that they had a structure to this. Just, yeah, I agree. Having a boss fight for the Mad Hatter, the Samurai Wasp Queen, the Red the red Queen herself. There was... There! Oh, oh he, he did! did. It. He did? I think he did. I think he did. I hope oh, he yes. did. Make All that right. a meme, everybody! So, so now... But we're still in Wonderland. We're still in the dress. And we have a yep. doll on our hands. It's a rabbit. What? It's symbolizing our our second awakening. In prison, some halfwit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed, a hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My God, Alice, who would believe it? I scarcely believe it myself. <laughs> I just love at this point, Monster like creature. such sorry. evil will be it's okay. punished. Mm. Okay, I just I can just imagine there it's like who will help you? Then all of a sudden all of uh, Alice's friends pop up to see him awesome. see him be arrested. Oh, yeah. But you know what? We're stronger than that now. Our we, bodies we took it right. are mo ah, that's our body is stronger. It, it's our anger. Our her mind. anger bow. Oh. Our mind is stronger than you are. Oh. Our body is stronger it. than you are. Ah, uh, when did you change and clothes? I'm, and I'm pretty sure the 10.30 a.m. arrival is stronger than your body, oh, too. What do you mean Let by 10.30 me a.m.? Oh! oh! It's 10.30 a.m. now. Oh. So it is. Huh. God, that, that's a and face that, of a glare. <laughs> and with that, we've done it. Oh. We have now officially avenged our family. And this, so this is an ending that's a little bit odd. I think, I think they had to actually ask American Mickey himself about what it represents. The idea is that she isn't insane, but she has realized that the power of her imagination, the power of her mind is something that she can rely upon. Her creativity, her approach to situations. This is something that they call Lunderland, a London Wonderland kind of hybrid Wonderland. that basically shows, which basically shows that she's reached such a point that she feels now that she can explore both worlds freely and uh, with confidence. Alice, I can't go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find a way, and most of them Delusions to die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as a measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient. Remembering it. Oh no, no okay. worries. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. Uh, I will be right back, but we're about to get to the credits. So, uh, okay. Pi, what did you think? What did you think of this full adventure? I am glad to revisit this again because I remember watching either PewDiePie or Jacksepticeye play this. It's just fun to see it again and have that twist in mind and I wish I could own the game for myself. I would still play this. Even though I suck at these games, I would just play it for myself. Hmm. Well, for me, I really enjoyed watching this game finally the whole way through because I remember watching the cutscenes many years ago back when I was younger and, well, just something about this twisted concept of Alice in Wonderland intriguing me so much that when I saw the trailer, I'm like, I really want to know what this game is all about. Then I look <laughs> back into it with like the summary of the first game, you know, to keep myself up to speed and then look more into this one. And it's like, oh, wow, it's, it's interesting, you know? And I really like how this, in terms of gameplay and graphics, it definitely approves upon what its original had, had mm -hmm. uh, you know, back, in, back then. Yeah. Well, uh, so yeah, sorry that I'm back. Now. Welcome back. Hi, welcome um, back. So, again, I think that over the first game, agreeing with everyone else, uh, over the first game, significant progress was made in the graphical department of, like, creating the worlds and making them seem as surreal. I'm very happy to see where their art direction has been going. The music is as... I, I still love the tone of the music of always the sense of unsettlingness, like, always the sense of unknown, um... The combat I did not mind. I mean, it was a pretty standard hack and slash game. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it's like I don't think it like broke any new boundaries or anything like that. But I think what was there was still fun. I, the platforming felt much more be- much more competent than the first game with the uh, with the uh, Quake engine. Yeah. Um, James, what did you think? Honestly, I can sort. I pretty much share similar sentiments in that I do think overall this game is a definite improvement over the original out um, at Mickey McGee's Alice. Though I will also mm-hmm. say that if there is one thing that I do think that the first game excels at over the first or the, this game is pacing because mm. boy howdy did this game drag at points like it did yeah. oh it yeah drag, I do have to agree it, on I, that it really did overstay its welcome and I don't think and I don't think it had enough mechanics and whatnot to really make the whole journey worthwhile or just overall su- substance to really make it all the yeah again the worthwhile yeah. I mean I, like the lack of bosses definitely hurts it as well because you know that kind of stuff is they always feel like a proper finale to what's usually a pretty long gauntlet of um shit to deal right. with in these lands. A, 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 ni- a nice, uh, a, a nice checkpoint of uh, showing, or a nice, la- uh, yeah, a nice uh, landmark of showing, you know, how far you've come. I know there's a better word. Just, yeah. just yeah, I would say over. Just, just yeah. That's the the first you. game I think has the better pacing and the better structure, but the second game has better everything else. So I'll get, I'll definitely give it that. Amen. Okay. Uh, anything you have to add, hype? Um, I'll say on kind of a half and half, I'll agree with everyone that the overall gameplay does feel like much of an improvement over the first game. Like, like the platforming seems more finely tuned, the combat does seem better. However, that being said, I will say, as from a story and as a continuation, I honestly feel like, again, like improved gameplay aside, I feel like this is a story that didn't really need to be continued and their ways of trying to build on it just seem a little bit unnecessary and in some points kind of cl- I, I don't want to say cluttered but it feels like like what what was good about the first story it's like it felt like they tried to add uh, like I feel like they were trying to flesh it out but I feel like the way they did it came off as a little too unnecessary and contrived it's kind of like uh, this is probably going to be a very eyebrow-raising opinion, but it's kind of like how uh, Shadow the Hedgehog tried to expand upon Shadow's backstory, even though, if you think about it, what they established in SA2 was perfectly fine as is. Yeah. No, I think, I think I, yeah. I see where you're coming from there. The idea is that it... Sorry, I echo my freaking Amazon. <laughs> so Clyde turned mine off yeah, every time when we record, so... I need to mute it whenever we do these. But yeah, I was going to say, I agree with what you're saying. They they went to add in new plot elements, but they didn't really blend. They didn't flow well with what was already there. It felt very much like a tack-on. And I do agree yeah. with that. When you really think about it, the first game's plot, honestly, just felt very nicely wrapped up and wrapped around itself and self-contained. Yeah, like that's it, a, well, there wasn't really much you really do after that. Well, maybe that's something they right. can improve on whenever they make their next game. Right. So with that said, yeah, I guess we should get around to that real quick. So with that said, we technically have two directions we can go from this point forward. We've already been talking about it a little bit uh, throughout this series. For anybody who's been, you know, remembering what we've been saying, <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. We ramble way too much. <laughs> I apologize. Yes. I ramble too much. So there's two paths we can go from this point forward. Uh, after this game came out, there was a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo, something like that, for a set of shorts, which unfortunately kind of got it kind of got comprised down to two shorts. Um, called it was titled Alice Otherlands, and the idea being that it takes place after the events of this game, where as I was saying, in that Alice felt like she could now confidently navigate through both her Wonderland and London, it kind of reached... Okay, this is part where I feel like maybe they definitely jumped the shark. At this point in the series, it kind of reached supernatural levels of involvement Mm. where what Other Lands is, Other Lands represents Alice going into other people's Wonderlands to try and help them. AKA just... AKA Mm. AKA Psychonauts. Oh. That sounds like an interesting take on it. So there, so it follows two characters. I'll learn more about them later, but they are two actual real-life historical figures. I think one for music, one for science and the arts. Um, so we'll probably get around to doing that within, you know, hopefully, like, you know, eventually. Uh, we would probably do a let's watch sort of thing where it would be a dub track because the two, both of the shorts do exist on YouTube for free access. 
Uh, huh. So we would just do something where it would be kind of like our Sonic and the Werehog thing. Except, where... except we we probably won't be splicing the uh, footage over our own audio. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, I forgot we did that actually. Okay, then. Uh, what I mean is, it'll be something like that where we will just have the audio here, and we'll just have you, the viewer, and we'll let you know, hey, hit play now, and then we'll commentate over that. Yes, of course. Just to you know, just yeah. to keep the full experience. And then the second path, much f- much faster to talk about. The second path is that uh, in about uh, about a year ago they've announced, and they're still running a Patreon for it. Uh, American McGee and the people at Spicy Horse are uh, working on a new game called Al- American McGee's Alice Asylum, which is a prequel to the first game. Yes. During her like initial uh, admit uh, during her initial uh, admission to the asylum, and I guess what that entailed watching her Wonderland fall apart. Which you know, I don't know. Go ahead. Honestly, after what we saw with like that one moment where Alice was lo- completely losing herself before the fir- final chapter started. I can already yeah. imagine just how much worse it could get with this new game. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Excellent. That, that, and I, that, 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 and that, and I'm going to be honest. I almost am kind of curious, but what they're going to do with that story? Because the issue is, we know how that story ends. It's not going to be a happy ending because she's going to be in the asylum by the first game. Mm. Right. And quite insane for it. I don't know. We're going to have to see when that comes around. But until then, I had fun with this. I just, I'm just i glad to be able to share more of the series. I look forward to whatever they do next. And it's been a fun little creepy ride. Agree. Yeah. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And we will see you all either for other lands or whenever they get around to releasing Asylum. Yeah. Whichever comes first. Go support them. Yeah. Yeah, and for those that want to see want to see an Alice Madness Returns kind of game done better, stay tuned because somewhere within the not within the distant future, I'll be covering Bayonetta for the channel. All right. T- Till next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Venture into your own wonderland, and thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bevarin. <laughs>